Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about development. So, and I asked this question already, and I ask it again, do, you have, do we think we have a responsibility to players? Is there a commitment to the long-term growth? And I would suggest to you, yes. I know, like, at the NHL level, especially in the salary cap era, okay, the, the most important aspect as far as staying uh, competitive and sustaining a competitive level is your ability to, to, to draft and to develop from within. So development at the highest level of the game is taking place. Coaching staffs are talking about, we need to make our players better. How do we do it? We have to spend time at improving our individual players and their skill sets. Because if we do that, at the end of the year, hopefully we'll have a better hockey team because we have players that have better, more polished skill sets. Okay? So I would argue that that it is vitally important, regardless of where you are in the development process, whether you're a junior coach, a high school coach, a peewee coach, or you're coaching in the American League or the NHL. It is one of your main objectives as a coaching staff is to try to help the individuals on your team get better. Uh, I think it benefits all involved. It's going to benefit the player, obviously. He's a better player. It's definitely going to benefit the team because if you have a group of players that have better skill sets, you should have a more competitive team. And I think personally as a coach, it's the most rewarding part of what we do. It's the most rewarding part of what we do. As far as, you know, I find so much uh, solace in knowing that I helped the player along the way.